I'm not the designer, so I can't be like, oh, you shouldn't buy fake things because you're hurting the designer because I feel like that's just so pretentious to say. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to discuss buying fake items. So I have to be completely honest with you guys. I have gotten into fake products in the past. Of course, I got rid of them, I threw them away, or I misplaced them, and I think currently, I believe, like, I'm 99% sure that I don't own any fake products anymore, but I have gotten to buying fake products, just because it's just so, so easy to buy fake products in China. Not that I look for fake items, but some people sell fake items and brand them as real products, and it's definitely a thing on Taobao and on like all those reselling platforms a couple years ago. It's definitely, I think, better now, but you still have to do your due diligence. When I was a newbie in the luxury designer market, luxury goods, designer goods market, I was very naive. So I just trusted whatever they say. I still remember one time I got my very first like never full. I never show it in this channel, but I got a never full that um, I got from China, a seller in China. And they said this is the authentic thing and price wise it's also authentic pricing and so for a very long time I thought it was an authentic number full but when I did more research into number falls into Louis Vuitton I realized that perhaps this is not the real thing because the date code looks weird it just looks off and also the leather and the canvas looks off and for Louis Vuitton canvas if you own a couple pieces of Louis Vuitton you can really feel like you can just develop that sense which item is real and which item is not and you can even see it from a distance and you can tell whether or not this item is authentic so I still remember I felt so bad because I spent quite some money on that one bag and it's I think the price was comparable to the real thing I don't know why I spent so much money on a bag from a seller that I don't even know but at that time naive cherry thought it was the real thing so today we're going to discuss what are my thoughts on buying fake things honestly I'm not the designer so I can't be like oh you you shouldn't buy fake things because you're hurting the designer because I feel like that's just so pretentious to say like I'm not the designer I don't benefit from people buying from like the actual designer so what rights do I have to say that but the one thing that I have to say is that why is there so much fascination in like Birkins and Kelly's and like the top name brands? In my opinion, one of the key reasons is because they retain their value very well. So let's say you buy a Birkin five years ago. Um, right now it's 2019, so five years ago would be 2014. If you buy a Birkin from 2014 and you sell it out, I am 90% sure that you will gain all your money back, if not gain even more back from just reselling a bag that you bought five years ago. So this is just one example of bags that retain their value very well. Speedies also retain their value very well. Chanel Classic Flap of course retains its value very well because its value just goes up and up and up every single year. In my very humble opinion, if you buy Hermes Birkin, you're making an investment. If you buy a fake Hermes Birkin, yeah, you, you can get the looks for maybe a fraction of the price, but you can never resell it for more than what you bought, or even for what you bought it for. You can't resell it for that price because it's not authentic. So basically, your money is down the drain. Of course, there's also a market for you know fake goods and... <sighs> I was never a fan, but there is a market. It's just not as widely accepted. And it's also kind of looked down upon because fake is fake. Fake is pretentious. Fake is not the real deal. So there's always going to be a lot of negativity in that. So I am against buying fake. Not just because it hurts the designer, which is the more widespread explanation of why you should not buy fake, but also because you do not get to retain your product value. All your money is going down the drain because you're buying fake. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what are your thoughts on buying fake. I also have a lot of ways where you can earn money or save money in my info box. Be sure to check those out and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you next time. Bye.